Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for joining me. So, um, it is officially November. Welcome to November, everyone. Um, I hope everyone had a great Halloween. Everybody had fun. The kids got lots of good candy. No one made too much trouble. <laughs> um, yeah, so... It's November 1st, um, and uh, so I was just channeling the energies a little bit before I started the video, and I'm seeing brown for this day, um, and I feel like that's a lot of grounding. There's a lot of grounding that's going to be happening, a lot of coming down to earth. Um, we could, there's some of us could be entering a bit of a hibernation mode. Um, I know I kind of am definitely getting into a little bit of a hibernation period, a hibernation mode, just trying to really stay grounded, stay centered, stay balanced, um, stay focused on what it is I really want to do, what it is I really want to accomplish, um, just, you know, yeah, hibernating, <laughs> going into hibernation. Um, and I posted, you know, about, um, I made a post about, you know, being in my shell as like a cancer, a moon, a cancer moon. And, um, a lot of you agreed with that. So, um, you resonated with it. So I'm, I know a lot of you are going through this energy too, of just wanting to be safe and secure and like, you know, kind of stay, stay, kind of stay in your comfort zone a little bit. Um. Which is okay right now. I really, I really feel like if you want to, you know, kind of pull away, pull back from everything for a little bit, especially since you know there are probably going to be a lot of holiday parties and stuff coming up. There's going to be a lot of family gatherings. Um, and some of us might need to, you know, recharge our batteries a little bit before we deal with that. <laughs> um, but. Ultimately, if you know, it's a good thing if you want to just kind of pull away from everything for a little bit. I would, you'd say, go ahead and do so. You know, try not to be too antisocial, right? We're still social creatures. We still have relationships we need to maintain, but you know, at the same time, care for yourself. This is definitely a time for self care, um, which is what um, brown, this brown color can be civilizing. It's just a very earthy color. It's very grounding. It's very safe and secure down to earth. And so it, it feels really good at this point. At this point in the game. All right, guys. So this is going to be a general reading for Thursday, November 1st. Um, this is not love specific. This is not science specific. Um, you know, the energies can go back and forth, they can change positions depending on your situation, okay? So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, let's get to it, guys. Let's <laughs> the coffee a little bit. Okay, here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for Thursday, November 1st, 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. Um, oh, also, guys, keep in mind that um, just because the messages are coming out today, you know, November 1st, it doesn't necessarily have to resonate with you right now. Um, this could resonate with you later on down the line. Time is an illusion and energy is fluid. So just, if it doesn't resonate with you now, maybe come back and watch it later. Maybe it'll resonate with you then, yeah? Awesome, let's get to it, guys. Thursday, November 1st. Hmm. November 1st. There is a song that I woke up with in my head. I'm not going to try and attempt to sing it because it's really high. Um, <laughs> it's kind of... 
kind of a challenge. Um, but it's a song called Girl of the Year. It's another Ali X song. Um, and my what I understand from it is um, uh, it's basically about a woman that recognizes, you know, that someone that like a, an, a man or another woman, it doesn't matter. But basically, it's a, I, I see it as a feminine energy recognizing a masculine energy, just kind of using her for the moment or keeping her around for the moment. Um, and, you know, <laughs> okay, I'm going to try and sing it because <laughs> I can already feel you guys wanting it, wanting me to. Um, <clears throat> I can't sing the chorus because I don't, Really can't really make out the words, but the pre-chorus is If you see me coming, you uh, pretend that I'm the only one I like your lies <laughs> If you see me coming, see the tie <laughs> You better show me your love, I like your lies it, It's that kind of thing, right? So, um to me, especially with this brown color that I'm seeing, there's a lot of that kind of energy being purged out. Um, you know, the, the feminine is on the rise here. And so she, it's not like she really doesn't even have time for someone that can't meet her, match her. She's not going to be giving herself to situations that aren't balanced, number one, um, aren't healthy. You know, she's not going to be giving into destructive situations. And a prime source of a destructive situation is getting into an opportunistic relationship, like something like that. You know what I mean? Um, I, again, guys, I'm a huge Ali X fan. Her, her, um, her concepts, she's really like pushing the envelope. And you know what is so funny? I was looking, cause she's on Spotify, and I was looking up her new music and that new song, um, Girl of the Year is released under a label that goes by the name of Twin something. And I looked at that and I was like, oh my God, are you kidding me? <laughs> That's a cool coincidence. You know, me having been uh, on this Twin Flame path, um, I just found that really interesting, especially since, you know, on this journey that I've been on, she, her music has really spoken to me the most as I've been going down this Twin Flame path. Um, and so to find that, you know, she's releasing music now under a record label that goes by the name of Twin. Um, I'm not going to look it up now just because I don't want to waste time. But, you know, that I just, I just thought that was really cool. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to get getting into it. Um, the Queen of Wands is underneath the deck. I'm going to continue shuffling a little more, but... Um, this is this is this is significant because while I was doing the pre-shuffle, just like collecting the energies this morning right before I started the video, the King of Wands popped out. Um, so and now underneath the deck here we have the Queen of Wands, and actually this really goes to goes with what I was talking about. You know, um, a Queen of Wands does really seem like can't, her her energy comes across as someone that would possibly, if she's negatively aspected it would possibly be someone that would go along with a relationship like that in this song, Girl of the Year, where, you know, it's basically opportunistic. You know, you're just in it for the moment, in it for the thrill, in it for the materialism of it, potentially, the image. Um, but we're healing that. And the true, a true positively aspected Queen of Wands is someone that is, yes, very social, very beautiful, um, very charismatic, very magnetic. Um, she's magical. She knows how to get what she wants without really doing anything or too much physically. You know, she just attracts things to her. You know, she's really mastered the law of attraction in that way. Um, but she's not, she knows her self-worth. And she's not going to give to any sort of situation that would devalue her, undermine her knowledge of who she is and what she deserves. Um, and the King of Wands, now the, so the, the King of Wands that came out before that, uh, what I heard when I saw this Queen of Wands here, I heard the counterparts are aligning, um, or the, the counterparts are matching up, the counterparts are coming together. So as you do your work to, um, 
honor yourself. Connect with your self-worth, your value. Know who you are. Know what you bring to the table. Know the know your worth. You align with a counterpart that reflects that, that knows his or her worth, um, is willing to step into a situation that's balanced and stable and loving, you know. Um, yeah. There's a lot of purging of this superficiality right now, and it's actually quite wonderful, guys. Quite, quite wonderful. All right. Thursday, November 1st. Thursday, November 1st. Awesome. Yeah, and okay, so I'm seeing green here, too. Um, it's kind of, it's, I'm going to be honest, it's a little bit of a pale green, but to me, that is like a, f like a, an expression of superficiality. Um, it's, th it's funny because I see this sometimes when people are being insincere, um, are being, um, being jovial or happy in the moment is how, how, how I'm thinking of describing it now, um putting on a brave face, you know, saving face, not really, not really giving you the truth of how they're feeling or what they're going through maybe, but like how they're feeling, I guess. It's like an energy of feeling depressed inside, but putting on that happy face. Um, you know, it's very much, if you're familiar with the, the twin flame mirror readings that I do, um, I use the animal spirit deck, um, as part of that reading and there's a card in that deck called uh it's the hyena card and it's how are you masking your issues or your pain or your reality through being a jokester through laughing at yourself like are you are you laughing the pain away while basically <laughs> sobbing inside you know and not really honoring or dealing with what you what you're going through and so when i see this like almost pale or mint green color um, that's what I think of sometimes, and that falls right in line with, you know, the superficiality that we're in the process of purging right now. Um, and the brown color that I was seeing before that, the grounding, this is, this is, this is the driving force that's helping us purge this superficialness. Um, we're grounding ourselves into reality. We're grounding ourselves into ourselves. Um, which is helping to push out all the muck so that we can really stand true in who we are. Yeah. Excellent, guys. This, excuse me. You know, I always start off with a clear nose and then I start doing all this talking and the mucus just builds up. <laughs> oh, well. All right. Let's see what we've got today. Thursday, November 1st. Ooh. Do one more pull. All right. So far we have the four. Well, actually, let me stop here. Four of Wands is underneath the deck, okay? We've got, hey, the Emperor. All right, now the Hanged Man. Two of Swords in reverse and the High Priestess in reverse. Very interesting. Um, I'm being guided to do one more pull after I read this one. Okay, so this might be um, this might be a two-sided reading here, uh, you versus them. We'll see what happens because I am being guided to pull one more time. But so far, we have the Four of Wands is underneath the deck. So this actually is so funny because look, this is a, there's a jack-o'-lantern here. And when I look at this card, I think of Halloween. So we just came out of Halloween. Um, there could have been something that happened yesterday during Halloween um, while the veil was really, really thin. I think the veil is probably still a little thin now, but it was its thinnest yesterday. Um, and, even, I mean, granted, you know, the veil is in the process of being dismantled, so it's been thinner than ever, but it's usually pretty thin this time of the year, okay? Um, and so... It's like something has been revealed here with the High Priestess in reverse and the Two of Swords in reverse. Something's been revealed and um, yeah, it's almost like the blindfold was taken off or 
someone got to a point where they they weren't choosing to be blindfolded anymore, or they have seen something in which they can't be, they can't act like they don't know anymore. Um, but also, other than the veil being thin, what really helped see past whatever it is or come to whatever realization because um there's a lot of, there's a, a stable foundation here that helps that happen okay and then we have the emperor and the hanged man or the hanged one in this deck so someone um it's like someone's really taking control of their life right now um and they are and now that, you know, the Two of Swords is in reverse, now that um, the confusion is gone or the, the refusal to see is gone, um, someone's taking control of their life and um, working on seeing things differently all around. It's almost like a domino effect. It's like once you see one thing differently, it's like, oh my God, well, what else was I seeing? What else can I see differently? And you're, it's almost like you're driving the ship here. You're like someone is taking their power back and saying, "Oh no! Oh no! 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 This is not gonna fly." <laughs> yeah, I do want to. Um, I'm gonna pull again because I am being guided to. So let's see here. I'm gonna leave the four of wands here. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, underneath the four of wands is the star. Okay, so healing, um, uh, wish fulfillment. I really feel like, you know, someone came to a realization and now they have a better opportunity to, something was revealed to them, they finally understand something, they're not really willing to keep, they're not keeping something a secret from themselves, as the biggest thing I'm getting here with the high priestess in reverse and the two of swords in reverse. Um, something under someone understands something better. Someone kind of has come to a realization. Maybe they were questioning about something, questioning something. Um, they were not quite sure about something, but then something happened that really put something into perspective for them. And now it's like, oh, well, okay. <laughs> um, let's move forward in some way. The emperor could be about um, um, about commitment. getting the four of wands is about commitment also it's about um, a balanced home and family um i know some of you that watch there's one person in particular you know sh she is moving um congratulations on finding a space for yourself um so you could be moving here there could have been a situation in which you know you were seeking a place to live um and now you found it um but with the hanged man here uh, you're in the process. I just heard due process, um, which is a legal term, but at the same time, in this situation, it just feels like now you're going through the motions to make it happen. You know, the place has been found or something has been realized, and now you're going through the steps to kind of like bring it into reality, okay? Let's see what else we have here for November 1st. Thursday, November 1st. Okay, so we've got this so far. Where did it go? Where did it go? There it is. Ooh, the Three of Wands. Okay, see, yeah, this is that due process. Three of Wands, patience. This is um, allowing something to manifest now. It's the return on the investment underneath the deck. With that, you have temperance. Patience. Um, again, two cards of patience. In this deck, um, temperance does say... Uh, moderation um and then the this card the three of wands says patience here but this is waiting for the return on the investment okay let's see what we have thursday november 1st interesting 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 november 1st. Woo! whoa okay no that's way too many <laughs> that's way too many um okay all right I think we're good here. All right, so what's landing on the deck now is underneath the deck is the, this is, wow, this is a lot of stuff, but we'll get through it. This is the Hierophant here, okay? Um, more commitment energy. Okay, um, we have a card that flew over here. I'm gonna wait. Oh boy, this is a lot. 
I don't think. Yeah, no, this is too much. This is too much. <laughs> so I'm going to redo this poll, but I'm going to look at these. We're going to actually bear with me, guys. I'm just kind of rolling with it here. Um, okay. All right, cool. So I'm going to I'm going to pull get one more card here. Just to balance it out, um, we've got the Three of Wands so far with the Knight of Pentacles and the Sun. So the Three of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles is very much about patience. Um, some of you could be moving towards a, um, a commitment. It's entirely possible. Um, here we have Three of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. So this is slow and steady wins the race. This is um, beat, uh, step by step, bit by bit piece by piece invested into a situation with the Knight of Pentacles there. Um, and then, you know, sitting back and waiting for, you know, the fruits of your labor. I I'm seeing like waiting for your blossoms, uh, waiting for your flowers to bloom. Um, yeah. Uh, and then with the sun here, you know, it's allowing, well, first of all, it's, you know, illumination. Um, what is the keyword here? Clarity. Yeah. Um, you know, this person is very clear on the situation, um, but also I see the sun as, you know, that energy that is allowing your, your, your flowers to bloom, okay? Let's get one more card, one more card just to balance out these energies, because I do feel this is, there we go, oh, five cups, <laughs> okay, um, with the page of pentacles underneath the deck. Okay, this is kind of a, this could either be you, both sides could be you, um, this could be, you know, you could be connecting with someone, so this could really be like a, a, a you versus them type of situation, um, but like I said, it could also be, you know, just one person here, uh, dealing with, you know, two sides of an equation. <laughs> But in this energy here on the right, um, the Page of Pentacles here is underneath the deck, all right? And this is reliability. Um, and I'm getting an energy of someone that's very, just very sincere, very dedicated, um, is approaching a situation from a place of innocence um, and, and true caring, just wanting to offer, wanting to be supportive. This could be someone else in your life that's helping you as you, you know, you make a sort of transition. Um, now, so we have someone that is making a, a slow investment, bit by bit, piece by piece, with the Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Wands, okay? Um, and then underneath that, you have the Sun and the Five of Cups. Now, this there is an energy of now this this there's an energy of regret remorse maybe so, even some um some shame a little bit but the five of cups is i really feel like it's in the past um and i really feel like the energies on this side if this is a person oh well it is obviously it's a person we're talking about people here <laughs> but it could again it could be you or it could be another person that you're connecting with um, if you're in the process of connecting with someone. But uh, there's perseverance through some sort of Five of Cups. And I really feel like the Five of Cups is the energy from the past. So you're coming out of a situation. You're coming out of, um, you know, something that wasn't, that really didn't necessarily turn out the way you wanted it to. And it's funny, this really could just be you here because and like because you know we have illumination and what i was getting with on this side of the equation was um you know something was revealed something is being understood with the high priestess in reverse and the two of swords in reverse it's like the blindfold is coming off and here we have the sun with the five of cups so there's clarity there's illumination um around you know whatever might have been giving you this five of cups energy okay excuse me guys um Ooh, hold on. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I wanted to blow my nose again, and I just didn't want to do it on camera. Anyway, <laughs> so. 
Um, now, in the situation of if you are connecting with someone, because like I said, this could be just all your energy, or this could be two sides of the equation, you versus them, them versus you, whatever. We're going to go with person A and person B. Person A, I feel like, has come to the realization um, possibly of a connection, okay? Um, it's stable. There's a good there, there's a good foundation that's either being set or has been set here. And actually, what I'm picking up here is that the foundation set in to a point where now it's kind of tangible, okay? With the High Priestess in reverse and the Two of Swords in reverse, it's not a situation where you might be deluding yourself any longer with the Two of Swords in reverse. Um, it's no longer really a secret. It's no longer a mystery. It's no longer a question of like, huh, does this person, is this person really into me? Am I really into this person? Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's not really clear. I feel like something happened that really helped illuminate that for this person here. Um, and so now, but, but there's an energy of restraint still. The emperor, um, someone is, and the key word here is sovereignty, okay? So someone is very much in tune with themselves. It's probably, is probably very um, focused on their business, on their material um, re existence, their material representation of their life. They're very much in control of their life. Um, they've taken their power back. Um, but there's still an energy of hold up and wait. Hold on, now wait a second. Because of the hanged man here, or the hanged one, um, the key word in this deck is as a, a perception. I, so, I feel like there's still some things that they're trying to figure out. This person is trying to figure out. This could be you. This could be another person that you're connecting with. I feel like there's some things that they're, tr they're trying to be understood further. Um, if the hanged man or the, the hanged one was in reverse, I would say you know, they're coming out of a period of introspection at least. Um, they've reached some sort of enlightenment. This could be someone that's going through some sort of awakening also. So there are a lot, there's a lot that's being revealed to them right now. And it could be more than just between you and this person. It could just be in their life completely in general. I feel like there could be a lot that they're, that they're coming to terms with. But either way, this is happening. Be, it's a good thing. It's a really good thing. Because either way, it's happening because of this foundation here, this solid foundation, either within themselves or between that they feel between you and them or whatever. That's facilitating this, okay? That's solid foundation. Now, person B. Person B is persevering. And we don't have the Nine of Wands here. Um, the Nine of Wands is a very... It, it's a card of um, defensiveness, of battling, you know, of um, being battered and bruised but continue to fight. But the perseverance here is coming from the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles, in my opinion. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck, but he still moves, okay? <laughs> Contrary to what you might think, the Knight of Pentacles does still move, however slow that may be, all right? Um, gosh, excuse me, guys. And uh, the, the key word I'm being guided to point out, the key word here is servitude, all right? So someone is really putting forth the effort, putting forth the time. Um, this could be in business. This could be a career. Um... It's very, it's very much someone that's kind of giving back to society, to community, but also is 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 continuing to give to this this situation, this relationship here. All right, and with the Page of Pentacles, this is very innocent. This is very loyal, trustworthy, honest. Um, it might be a little bit naive, a little bit, but. I don't really get much naivety, naivete from uh, the Page of Pentacles. Um, the Page of Pentacles is a little too practical. It's too down to earth to really be naive about anything. That doesn't mean what I guess. It's not, I guess naive is not the right word because um, the Page is t often a bit inexperienced. Any of the pages, but here that's not. If there is inexperience here, it's because something is being done in a different way, in a new way. Okay.
And that's coming through with the Sun and the Five of Cups clarity. Okay, there, there, there was probably a situation in the past where, you know, things are done a certain way and it just led to regret and remorse and heartbreak. And I feel like that lesson has really been learned here. And so now with the sun being here, the illumination happening, um, you know, now I think something is being approached differently. Like for example, if you were someone that was, and, and I resonate with this, but if you were someone that just kind of rushes into situations, um, you're not doing that anymore. You're taking it step by step, piece by piece, allowing things to, five by five on the counter, allowing things to develop on their own, naturally, organically, you know, putting in the time, putting in the effort, and allowing the seeds to germinate and them grow and blossom, okay? Um, there could also be, there could have been some sort of regret or remorse within this situation you know, as it's been developing. Um, but with the sun here and the five of cups, someone is learning through that, you know. It's funny because you have the sun and then in the five of cups you have the moon, right? So there's illumination happening around the situation that's showing you that, you know, there's probably what you were so upset about, what you thought was so terrible, what you thought you should be ashamed of, what you thought you were, what you were feeling regret or remorse over is really just an illusion. That's just your fears. Actually, things are much better than you think, or things are developing much better than you think. Um, also, person A could kind of see person B as like an illuminating force, a the sun almost, you light up their life, you brighten their day. Um, the sun could talk about Leo. The emperor can talk about Aries. The hanged one, I believe, is Pisces. Uh, you could be dealing with an, uh, an earth sign too, with the knight of cups and the page, of, I'm sorry, the knight of pentacles. <laughs> the knight of pentacles and the page of pentacles. Um, I guess that Knight of Cups was, me saying that Knight of Cups was um, significant there for someone. I do kind of see, you know, that it's funny because the energy that I'm getting from the Knight of Pentacles is very much Knight of Cups-like, slowly but surely making a gesture after gesture, you know, to really make it known how someone feels. That's pretty really great. Okay. We're going to get some clarifiers now. We're gonna, first, we're going to clarify energy or person A, and then we're going to clarify energy or person B. Yes? November 1st, 2018. I'm going to shuffle one more time. A and B. A and B. All right. Okay, cool. Um, I was guided to look underneath the deck here. We have the Page of Wands. Um, this is self-discovery. This is redirection I'm hearing. This is inspiration, um, moving in a new direction, um, new forms of creativity, um, especially since you know something has been revealed here. We're talking about sp spot A right now because something has been revealed well actually I guess this is an overall but this point here for spot A there's something that's been revealed and so and there's a there's a solid foundation so that's really probably allowing someone to really embark on something new start a new project start a new jump on a new path um, it feels very good it feels bright and fresh and exciting you know that's really nice. So let's clarify energy or person A here. Ooh, the Ten of Swords. Yes, Hunty. Yes. With the Queen of Wands. Look at that. Let me see. Did anything else flip out here? Gotcha. Just flipping out all over the place, guys. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm being silly. All right, underneath the deck is the world. Woo, yes, hunty, yes. A lot, a lot of completion. We've got the world, and we've got the Ten of Swords. 
we've got the Queen of Wands, and what else? Ah, the Six of Swords. Now, the Six of Swords is in reverse. Um, interesting. I don't know if I want to read it that way, though. Yeah, no. It doesn't make sense. Um, yeah. I'm not going to read it. I'm just, I'm trying to see, I'm trying to fit it into the scenario here with the Six of Swords being in reverse. Uh, there could have been an energy of the, well, okay. What I was getting with the Six of Swords in reverse is that someone is not moving in the same direction that they were in the past. <clears throat> and that's definitely coming through with the Ten of Swords here. Okay, there is an ending. <laughs> Something ended. It was a very painful situation. Um, and actually what I'm getting here is th this was, this is an ending, ending of a perception. Okay. Um, especially since you have the hanged man here or the hanged man, which is talking about perception. I might want to clarify the six of swords in reverse. It could be, it could be that, um, you know, this ending is pretty fresh, pretty new. Now, the world did come out yesterday. Um, and I believe it came out, did it come out yesterday? I believe so. And I feel, or maybe it was, it might not have been yesterday, but it was sometime this week, and I feel like it was in reverse. You can, Okay, and I was saying that there is a situation that is actively coming to an end. Um, and so now the situation has, I think it actually really has, at this point, at least on an energetic level, it's it's reached its its completion. It's over, okay? But someone is not necessarily moving forward just yet. Yeah. But rest assured that it's over. And this could be a way of thinking, a thought process, a way of seeing something, or it could have just been a previous situation. And we have the Queen of Wands here. So to, to me, this person is sitting pretty in their power, in their knowing. They may have just recently come to this Queen of Wands status, and so they're not really trying to make any moves right now. I really feel like they could be just sitting in their power, observing it, feeling it out, getting used to it, getting acquainted with it. Um, and that's really nice. That's a good thing. The Six of Swords in reverse, it doesn't really feel all that bad, to be quite honest. Someone isn't moving in the same direction that they were in the past. Um, I'm getting somewhat of a, a reconciliation type of energy here with the Six of Swords in reverse. Well, with the Six of Swords in general. So someone may not, okay, someone really may not be trying to go back to the past and... Um, end something or well squash something reconcile or, or or whatever they just they just want to move forward in a different direction and with the queen of wands they are actively attracting this into their life now they, they, they're especially with the emperor here they've taken their power back they've claimed they've reclaimed their sovereignty they have reclaimed their aut uh, autonomy and now they're sitting pretty in their power, looking all cute and fine, you know, waiting for, allowing the universe to bring them what it is they truly desire, okay? They're grounded, they're stable. It's a beautiful energy. So let's get into uh, energy or person number two here. Ooh, ooh wow, okay. I wanted to fly out, but then it went back into the deck. There we go. High Priestess. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Well, would you look at that? Would you look at that? <laughs> the Knight of Pentacles fell out. And it fell right on top of the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. I want you guys, I don't want to, I don't want to touch it, okay? I want you guys to see how that has fallen. I wish I could... Whatever. You get it. <laughs> Underneath the deck is the Empress. Okay. This is Venus in retrograde. Um, 
and what I'm getting from this energy is whoever is whoever's in this energy right now. Now again, like I said, this could be two separate situations. This could just be you all together. Um, it could just be one person all together um, having a side A or a side B, or this could be a connection, you know, person A, person B, okay? Whatever the event, whatever the case, energy B or person B has really benefited or is in the process of really benefiting from this this uh, um, uh, retrograde period for Venus. Um, it's really changed a lot of things. Um, yeah, transformation. You or this person have gone through a transformation or you're actively in the process of going through this transformation here. Shh, fucking right. Look, Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords is coming out in reverse here. So there's, um, and it's really, I really feel like that's connected to, you know, this anxiety, or not the anxiety, the regret, the remorse that someone was feeling in the past with the Five of Cups. Um, we have death and um, the high priestess. Now, so both sides of the equation have the high priestess. Um, now, the high priestess is upright here. And to me, this is talking about intuition. You know, really following your intuition, going with your gut. Uh, transformation, however, is really allowing you to do so. It's allowing you to accept, you know, the secrets of the situation or the secrets of the universe and roll with it. Um, it's allowing you... Now, Scorpio season is this... We are in Scorpio season, and death is the card of, is the card of Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, but I know personally, Scorpio season has really, like, helped me really in, get in tune with my intuition way more. So that could be what you're dealing with right now. Scorpio season really could have opened you up to a lot of intuitive or stronger intuitive abilities here. You've got the Knight of Wands, which fell out on the sun, okay? So whatever action you're wishing to take, you know, it's... It's a good thing, um, and, but it's tempered, okay? The Knight of Wands is tempered with, by the page, I'm sorry, the Knight of Pentacles. And you have the Knight of Pentacles here twice, okay? The Knight of Pentacles came out, fell right out on the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. So, you know, if you can see here, these energies are kind of going in two different directions. So you might feel um, a push and a pull. Okay, you, you might feel kind of pulled in two different directions. I really feel like for those of you that have uh, are really going through a transformation, um, that might have, that might be how you feel in this situation right now. But um, it's good because it's tempering this Knight of Wands energy. Okay, you might really want to, you know, rush in and be all passionate about things, but you know that you can't. You know that you have to take it step by step, piece by piece. You know and really um, allow things to develop organically. Mm -hmm. But all in all, this feels really good. This feels very, very good. Okay, great. So now let's get into the Oracle messages here. We're gonna start with the Whispers of Love in honor of Venus in retrograde season. I apologize for all the confusion about, you know, this whole Venus in retrograde thing, but I really don't, I'm not that versed in astrology. I would really love to be. I just am studying, you know, I'm in school right now and I have a bunch of stuff to do, so I, I don't have all that much time to really devote to it. Eventually I'm going to get there, but I'm sorry for all the, <laughs> the misinformation and the confusing information. I'm just as confused as some of y'all may be. Okay, so whatever. But thank you to those of you who have stepped up and um, helped me, you know, clarify and identify things. Okay. November 1st, 2018. Let's see what messages we have. What messages Spirit has for us today, Thursday, November 1st, 2018. Best messages, please, Spirit. Boop, there it is. 
Yeah. All right. So, yeah. Okay. Underneath the deck, you have actions speak loudly. Express your love through your actions. And um, I really feel like that's what's happening on this side of the equation. Now, again, this could be you all over, um, you know, dealing with business, moving, life in general, whatever. Um, but I really feel like actions speak loudly, you know, actions speak louder than words. And I really feel like someone recognizes this and is really using that to their advantage because, uh, you know, this here, the, the Knight of Wands is like someone that really wants to take action, is passionate about it, is ready to go, is, is moving really quickly. Um, but with the P Knight of Pentacles energy here twice, okay, there is a knowledge, there's an understanding, there's wisdom here that says, okay, well, wait. I have all this passion, I have all this fire, how can I be as practical with that as possible? Because, because I do not want to create, recreate what happened with this energy from the past, this Five of Cups. I don't want to feel like this Five of Cups anymore. And with the Nine of Swords in reverse here, clarifying the Five of Cups, it's like you don't need to feel anxious or fearful about any of the past because the past is just the past you learned your lesson great let's move forward and do things differently you have card number 44 get to know each other learning to meet another's need for love is important for the relationship to grow so if you are connecting with someone new this is where you are right now and so this and this is mirroring that energy of taking it slow uh, cultivating and um, tempering your passion with solid, tangible, practical action. Yes, you have treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. It's also important to love yourself deeply, okay? And finally, you have the only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus from the problem back to love. Okay? So there's definitely an energy of forgiveness there that's needed for some, not for all. And, for, and the energy of forgiveness is coming in from like past circumstances, past situations, yes? All right, so let's close the reading now with an oracle message from the Crystal Mandala. And I'm the only one. I like your lies. See, yeah, we're purging that energy, guys. Purging it out. <laughs> All right, one more shuffle, and then we will get the message. All right, here we go, guys. Closing message for today, November 1st, 2018. What you got for us, Spirit? There it is, right there. Wow. Well, well, well. Okay, underneath the deck you have um, Divine Alchemy. I'm not going to read that one, but I do feel like a, a bit of a channeled message here. I mean, that one's pretty straight, straightforward. Um, it's very, it's giving me an energy of like the Temperance card, um, balancing two opposing sides, allowing something to come together organically, naturally, that kind of thing. And then we have From Word to World again, card number 40. Goddess Saravati and Ammonite. Saraswati. Saraswati and Ammonite. I, I believe this is the second time this week this card is coming out. Let's read it. Okay. We bring you the empowerment of from word to world. Of word to world. What you speak with intention, you shall manifest. You are blessed with the creative power of an open and activated throat chakra. As, and, excuse me, as you release subconscious fear of speaking your truth, memories of being silenced, and claim your true divine voice, your ability to change your world through your intention is amplified. You have the power of divine creation through sound in you. What you wish to create and experience, speak of with joy. Ha, 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 ha. 
I want to read this. There are many times on the spiritual path when we feel we are in circumstances not of our conscious choosing. In fact, we may think, there's no way I would have chosen this situation. Perhaps the mind would not, yet through the frequency of our being, we are attracted to various people, places, and things. If we have healthy self-esteem, we will tend to be attracted to that which uplifts, assists, and inspires. If we are healing issues to do with self-worth, or can spiritually benefit from an experience of lower vibrational energy to help us on our life journey, we will be unconsciously attracted to that which feels lowering. Basically, I, I like to see that. I, I That's what I mean by when I say um, learning through contrast, okay? Those experiences tend to generate fear and negativity and don't feel good in that they can sometimes be the motivational push we need to break free of fear because we simply cannot bear feeling that way anymore. Contrast. They may also teach us to hold compassion for the suffering of others and inspire us to work in the healing arts. Lowering experiences may also help us find gratitude in our hearts for simple happiness too. However, if there is a more joyful way to learn that, and many times there will be, then why not choose that for yourself? The frequency of our being has a bearing on experiences and our self-esteem. The higher the self-esteem, the more likely we are, we are to want to raise our frequency. It feels better to live with a higher frequency and higher self-esteem. We make choices that support us rather than sabotage our best intentions. And we find it easier to set clear boundaries and say no to influences not good for us. We have more fun, feel happier, and believe in our own value. We can then take risks in life that open us up to more of our divinity, raising our frequency yet again. It is a positive cycle of creation. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, guys. So there it is. I hope you all have a great Thursday. Um, we are almost at the weekend. Woohoo! Um, yeah, much love to you all. Thank you so much for joining me for this wonderful cup of coffee or tea. And I look forward to connecting with you again tomorrow morning for our next cup. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!